ones are broken, Frank. But that's a good electric motor. So you can see where two and two are going. We're putting the electric motor in our old 70 right now, fellas. So it's gonna be a beautiful thing. I know it's kind of crazy. You shouldn't never do this, but someone's got to. Someone's got to see what's up with this 70 with the electric motor in it. And we're the guys to do it. So let's get it in there. Let's head over to the Rad Factory and put it together, fellas. Ready to build an electric three-wheeler deal? Round two, let's do it. Let's <laughs> do it, man. A Honda. Some would say this is committing a crime right here, dude. I don't know if this is legal even, but we gotta do it. Somebody's gotta find out what it's like to have an electric motor in an ATC 70. Alrighty, we're over here at the Rad Factory. We got the badass electric three-wheeler that they built for me right here. The frame, well, she needs a little bit of beefing up, but we got a 70 to do for now. We're gonna try and put a motor in there. Gab, how's it gonna work out? We already have an axle that works. We already have a sprocket right here. So in theory, we can literally just cut a hole, mount our motor straight to that, and then it's done. Sorry, everybody. You heard what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to do some serious surgery on her, remove the meniscus, go into the upper shoulder a little bit, and do some light trimming, but it's gonna be all right. That is not light trimming. If it's a meniscus <laughs> and a shoulder. To make some magic happen, let's start cutting. Baby, first part removed. Now we're getting into it. Right in here, you feeling or what are we thinking, man? Literally just right there. It's gonna be so perfect. I love that. How much cutting are we gonna have to do? Cause you know these ATC 70s, they're hard to come by. <laughs> That's all right. It's looking like we are just gonna weld it to something. Whatever the something means. That's honestly usually our tactic around here. What? It doesn't work. Weld it to something. Fits. Like a dream, fellas. So all we did was weld the little sprocket onto our big sprocket from our 70 right there. And it's working out beautifully. That is literally sick. And that is what we are going to be cutting out. Just unbelievable, but it has to be done for the uh, purpose of redneck science and having fun. Oh. Build a little bracket oh. that comes off of this and that'll mount just like that. Well, if you've learned anything, it is that we should test things. So I propose we test this real quick. Alrighty, all locked in. The battery is ready to go. That's so solid. Holy smokes. Time to flip this bad girl over and see how it looks. There she is, fellas. The world's first electric 70 is ready for her first departure, man. Holy smokes, this looks insane. <laughs> I just blew the motor or not. I smelled something funny, kinda. You ready? Please spin. Oh! This is why you don't go electric, fellas. Right there. <laughs> right, there. right there. After how many years? Stock, man. How many years? Like 34, 40 years. 35? 34? Maybe 35? 37? A great example. We blew the motor already. He's out here still having a blast with his kid. Fire me up! And that right there, fellas. That's why we don't play around with electric. Yeah. <laughs> so good, dude. Electric can be fun. Hey, but it's not gonna last as long as a Honda motor. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the gymnast. <laughs> that it. is so much fun. We 
We killed the battery last time, so we improvised. Got our generator right here, our gas can ready to go. Let's go all electric, baby. We'll see you guys on the jumps. Give me some, baby. Pin it, pin it. Let me see. Go. Take off. Take off. Go. Yeah, do something cool. All right, Dylan. He's coming in hot. Woo! Look at it. All right, we got Dylan coming in hot. Round two. Woo! Woo! You got a little iffy right there. All right, let's hit the skateboard. All right, Gav, be careful. Just pin it, you got it. Woo! The motor is just dying. Alrighty, right now we're just rolling with the Amazon batteries. We do like the electric torque, we like the power of it. So now in the near future, we're gonna put a Suron battery in it, actually let this bag go rip. But to end the day, I'm gonna have Gavin push me off this booter. Let's do it. When a 2000 watt motor isn't enough, I'm brought on set to make things happen. Dude, sometimes you just need a little man-made muscle. That looks sick. Oh, man. And that's a wrap for the 70, fellas. The Rad Factory, these boys killed it. Gavin, the master fabricator, you're the man for completing that one, dude. Yeah. We got to get a Suron battery in it next time. You saw him having to push me on the jump and stuff. We need more power, but stay tuned. It's going to be on the way. We'll see you next week.